Yo, what is going on guys? Maxi here with a brand new video and today we're back talking about some more Fallout mods that really want to make you download the game again and really get back into it. So we do have five mods for today and the first one I wanted to start off with uh, is a bit of an interesting one and has a, a pretty decent amount of flair to some pr otherwise pretty basic army outfits that you could have. Now this one is called the Nimrut Military Expansion Pack and this is just the basic little model that you can create from the chem station. There are a bunch of other variants, I will put them up on the screen now. You can have some pretty sick military gear. It goes all the way up to even a ghillie suit if you're interested in that. I do think it adds a nice little touch. Uh, if you can, I think it'd be really cool if you could find a mod that would actually combine this one and you can make it where whenever you are leading the Minutemen, you can just go through that way and you can have them as your own personal uniform. I think that would add such a sick touch to this mod and make it so much more worth it. It's already a sick mod whenever you look at the just the design of the helmet and the gas mask especially. But just that small little touch would add so much flair in my personal opinion. The next one I wanted to talk about is called Shade of the End. Now if you've heard about this mod or if you've even seen it on the store, it's a kind of interesting one. So the screenshots are enough just to get you intrigued alone. But when you actually look into the mod and you start seeing it, it has some samurai armor looking inspirations. It's really crazy looking and it has a whole new location and a new enemy for you to fight. So after downloading the mod, if you'll just open your handy dandy pit boy, go over to the map, you'll get Shade of the End Camp. So this is the location you're supposed to go to and there will be an enemy for you to fight. Uh, according to the mod description, you get a new armor as well as a new gun. It doesn't go into too much specifics on how good the gun is or how good the armor is or even how hard the enemy is, which I'm going to assume is going to be pretty difficult. Here it is right at the Starlight Inn, of course, Shade of the End. So I'm level 46, 47 and uh, I've got the Red Skull. Wow, that thing's powerful. Okay. So yeah, this gun is actually really freaking strong, it looks like, and makes it so much more worth it. Okay, so this is an interesting one. Oh yeah, so he's definitely a bullet sponge, and the gun I have isn't really that great anyways, so this kind of uh, could go for quite some time. So I'm just going to fast forward to the, uh, the very end of this fight, and that should just about do it. Perfect, yeah. So if you're looking for a new boss fight in, uh, in your Fallout 4 game, this is definitely the one for you. So you get the Shade of the End pistol and the Shade of the End... Uh, armor it just says shade of the end though. So let's go ahead and equip that. Oh Yeah, this looks not oh, this is so sick. Okay. Yeah, this armor is even cooler than I thought it was Yeah, this is nice. Okay. Yeah, so if you want to go for like a dark evil looking playthrough This could definitely be the move for you as for the pistol. I am a tad bit disappointed So it is a 10 millimeter pistol basically uh, does 38 damage per hit However, it did look like it was doing some type of fire damage also it's automatic which is very interesting so yeah altogether it's a very cool combination uh, i can definitely see a bunch of people rocking this and i might even do it myself for quite some time as it just looks so sick together this is the definition of a very well done mod the the boss fight was a bit iffy there were some hits that i thought should have hit but they didn't that could just be the character model just not rendering completely or maybe he looks bigger than he truly is his hitboxes as always, the mods will be linked in the description down below if you do want to check any of these out. I do recommend checking out all of them and giving all the mod creators as much love as possible as most of you guys don't get paid for any of their work. So it is best to try and support them in as many ways as possible because it is a lot of work just to make one of these mods. Okay, now our next mod is one that I can't quite show you as I've been waiting quite some time for it to, uh, to occur. But this one is called Marked for Termination. So if any of you have seen the Terminator, this is going to be a very similar idea to that. And I believe it is actually inspired from the Terminator. So after you hit, <clears throat> so after you hit level 10, you have to enable it, I believe, before. Uh, you are currently being hunted down by an NPC that is almost indestructible. There are only three ways to kill them. One is a direct hit with a mini nuke. One is freezing them with a cryo weapon. And, and the third and last one is having them fall into the molten lava pits that is in Sagus Ironworks. Of course, if you have seen Terminator, you'll recognize that last one as that is how one of the Terminator movies ends. I believe it's the first one. I haven't actually seen it in quite some time. But from what I remember, I think that could be the first one where he falls in the very end. So this one adds a bit of different excitement to your game as you're just going to be playing and trying not to stay in one location for too long and hoping that uh, he doesn't catch up to you because eventually he will. So he is moving at just walking speed. He's not sprinting or anything. He's not going to come up and just grab you and immediately kill you. It, it is going to be a bit of a fight. This enemy is unkillable though, however, so you do have to use one of the three tactics that I talked about just to kill them, otherwise you're going to incapacitate him I believe like a normal companion and then you just have to run away because he's going to get right back up. Again, I do wish I could show you guys this one as it sounds so much cooler than what it truly is, 
uh, but I haven't actually been able to recreate it, and I don't know where he spawns as well, which is another another really, really interesting one. It's supposed to also come with a companion as well that uh, kind of looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger, if you ever seen, if you see the screenshots, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So you get the full combination from normal Terminator, all you need now is the girl, whatever her name is, I forgot that one. I'm sure if you look hard enough, you'll be able to find a mod for that too, but at the moment, you'll just have those two to deal with. This firefight is a perfect time to show you guys the second to last mod that I wanted to show. Uh, which is going to be for any of my friends that played Escape from Tarkov and uh, enjoyed it or hated it, whichever one. If you've been in a raid at any single point in the game, uh, you've noticed these right here. So the stim packs have been replaced with what looks like the AI2s from Escape from Tarkov. It even has a very similar animation to it. Uh, it doesn't work in third person, I believe, but it still has a pretty cool touch if you're just kind of bored of the old stim pack animation. It does make things a bit more interesting, I guess, and visually pleasing as uh, you, you kind of just get bored once you've played this game for so long. And being that the game's been out for six years now, it, it is kind of getting that point where even the small things you just don't really want to look at too much anymore. It's nothing too, too game changing. However, if you are one of the role players that do enjoy this game, you could find some way to tie it into your role play. Uh, if you do want to try and make the character maybe a former Russian spy or something, I'm not fully sure. Just whatever you want to do. You, I mean, it's entirely up to your imagination, however you want to play it. Now, the last one I do want to tell you guys about is definitely going to be the coolest. It's going to be the one for the thumbnail, obviously, uh, if you did make it this far. So it's, this is going to be Lagri's Skull Armor and Helmets, I believe. And this is just a small little one. There are several of these helmets. There's a bunch of different variations throughout the entire wasteland. And I believe you do find them by going into Park Street Station. The first one's called Helmet of Chaos. This is the Helmet of Destruction, which just looks so freaking sick. It gives me some huge vibes of the armor that you'll see from uh, Fallout 76. I believe it was the one you get from Score. It's, I don't remember the name of it, but it makes you look like one of the Draugr from Skyrim. And I just think it adds such a freaking cool element. Because for some reason, for me, every time I picture, you know, post-apocalyptic, I don't know why I always imagine there's just some guy out there with a skull helmet just running around thinking he's the greatest thing ever. And now that can be you. You can be the guy with the skull helmet running around thinking you're the absolute greatest thing ever and that you're untouchable. Which is not a bad idea, it's actually pretty realistic because you're so freaking strong in this game anyways. But yeah guys, that is going to do it for today's video. This is just the surface of all of these mods that I'm touching on today. This isn't even half of it. If any of these even remotely intrigue you, just take a deep dive into it and you will be pleasantly surprised with how amazing some of these are. Yeah guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.